as in the heart. He don't happen. No. Why are you lying to become the president of Nigeria? Tinubu, like this man, lawyer Olalika, they ask you. He said, why are you lying to become the president of Nigeria? When you forget to know, say, internet, not the lie. Every day about you, when you, when you upload, since you get phone, in the internet, and you forget to know, say, internet, not the lie. And you, man, not talk too much. When I watch the video, waiting Mr. Lali can talk, concerning Tinubu, and waiting in the lie. When I watch, and please, after watching it, your business family, don't forget to share this video. And if you are new to my page, Please follow my page. So you don't expect a man who cannot even talk coherently to attend Nigerian Bar Association because that's an elite conference. So if you cannot convince lawyers, your program and why you want to become the president of Nigeria, then you are a total failure. Tidumbu deliberately did not go to that conference because if he know, if he goes, he's going to talk out of point and he's going to say things. That are not even in tandem with the with, with the with the title of the of, of the conference. So that's why I said Shetima. So I don't I still don't know why Tinobu is wasting his time. It's not too late for you to withdraw from the race. It's not too late for you to withdraw from the race. Because you are just disgracing yourself up and down, up and down. The more you think you are trying to prove a point, the more you are stop you are disgracing yourself. Tinobu, the more you think you are trying to prove a point. The more you are discussing yourself. I have so many video clips of Tinobu that if I share it, nobody will even see him tomorrow and greet him. Let me say it again. I want to prove to you with evidence that Tinobu is a froster. Now, in the first instance, why did he not attend the Nigerian Bar Association Conference? And I'm not surprised. He could not attend because he has dementia. So, how can Tinobu be the presidential candidate representing Yoruba? On what, based on what criteria? Uh, because it's the most educated Yoruba man, or it's the most fluent Yoruba man, or it's the most uh, wisest Yoruba man, based on what character, uh, or because he was able to steal money from Lagos State and start starting Amy Locon, constituting new sounds over the in internet. Let me let me play your video to show that he's, he's a fraudulent man. How can you, a, a man that wants to become president, simple thing of age, simple age, age, age simple thing, age is so simple. When, when, whenever you see a person telling lies about his age, it's not even worthy of anything. Okay? So, simple age, age. It, 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 it. On his bad day last year, I have it on record that his bad day was adjusted 81 times on Wikipedia. 81. I'm not saying, listen, no. Tinubu's bad day was adjusted 81 times on Wikipedia. So they turn his bad day to wall clock that is not functioning again. They were just adjusting his bad day. And then on the 82nd time, Wikipedia banned his page. And that one, that's the man they want to become president of Nigeria. Now, his INEC form for 2022, the year of the law 2022, primary school is blank. Secondary school is blank. And then he wants to become president. So does it imply what it means that he did not attend any primary school, he did not attend any secondary school, then he went on to attend university and then he wants to become president of Nigeria. Falashade Ojo Tinobu claimed that his father was born in 1942. It's on his on her Wikipedia page, though she has brought it down now, but she claimed that her father was born in 1942. So our own father. Say she he was born in 1952. So he's telling, telling lie between the daughter and the father. Who is telling lie? I prefer more. I prefer more. Yeah, do do lo lori. How more? How more? Tinubu ni baba un 1942 no be. Anya say we 1952 no be. Oh my friend, you. Oh my Tinubu friend, you say we 1942 no be baba un. And she's the first born of Tinubu. So between Tinubu. The Froster and Tinubu, the daughter who is telling lies now. How can you reconcile the two? One page, uh, the same man, one, one page said 1942. The same man, another page said 1952. So what the Tinubu did was that cleverly he has removed 10 years from his age. That's the implication. And I will, I will go with the daughter. I will align myself with the daughter. 
because that with, the daughter has the Wikipedia page before Tilbu wanted to contest. So the daughter said my father was born in 1942. Tilbu himself said I was born in 1952. <laughs> so who is telling lie between the two of them? So cleverly Tilbu has cleverly removed. <laughs> Cleverly, Tinubu has, has removed ten years from his own age, which I almost still believe is not is not true. Because I have a friend of mine who claimed that he knows Tinubu very well, when Tinubu was still a organizer. A lot of people don't even know that Tinubu has, has, was once a organizer. He said Tinubu cannot be less than eighty six. So that age itself is still is still debatable. I, I will align myself with that eighty six. Okay. So, but I mean, whether it's ATO or ATC, that's not even the issue. The issue is why will he tell lies concerning his age? Why will he tell lies? Why will he tell lies that he was a student of government college in when he was never a student of government college in Badon? Why will he tell lies that he was a St. John's Primary School lawyer when he was never a, 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 a student of St. John's Primary School lawyer? Why telling lies? I want you want to become president. So, if you know the implication, Somebody who went and uh, commit perjury wants not want not want to turn around and become president on a year. Let me let me finish the video. Let me let, let's watch the video together and finish it. Back to your calculator, 2021 minus 1942. Boom, 79 years old. You see now. This man is trying to cleverly shave off 10 years of his age. And he's positioning himself to become the president of Nigeria. Integrity. This is what he's trying to tell us. Ten years of his age. And we are still going to be ignorant enough to believe, oh, Jagaban is the great guy. This and that. <laughs> so that he's going to blatantly lie about his age for the whole country. Hey, Nigeria. You did your hand, though. It's in your hand to know what to believe or not. Like they say, the internet doesn't lie. The internet doesn't forget. So, let me play it again. This time I won't make any comments so that um, I won't interrupt the, the video. I won't make any comment. I, I will make comment after the video. Also, the video is just 2 minutes 54 seconds. 2 minutes. 50. So, let's watch it together now, but I won't say anything. Let's watch it together now. Hello, people. Yesterday was the birthday celebration of this man the great Jagaban of Lagos. And there was a lot of story about the many adverts he put in the papers and the likes. And there was even a few uh, social media pictures and stuff that I saw about discrediting his age. He claimed to have been 69 years old yesterday. And um, when I saw that, I'm not, I'm not someone that always believes everything on social media, so I just ignored it. But this morning, Someone asked me also about it, and I just said, okay, let me even go and check. So I went on in, uh, on the internet, and I just Googled his name, and it took me to his Wikipedia page that confirmed that, yes, he was born in 1952. So if you bring out your calculator and just do a quick 2021 minus 1952, yes, is actually 69 years old but hey i tried to now google um his daughter so what's the daughter's name the daughter's name is for la shade Tin. okay it's already brought it up for la shade tinubu joe but i met tinubu and that's a picture on the internet as you can see here it says this is not a doctor page. So, parent is Bola Tinubu, siblings, Jide Tinubu, the one that died, and the grandparent is Abibat Mogaji. So, all of this is internet, whatever. So, I go to our own Wikipedia page and talks about our Folashade Tinubu Ojo, the Yaloja of Nigeria, Abibat, grandparent, blah, blah, blah. And the same page talks about Bola Ahmed Tinubu, born. 1942. <laughs> Born 1942. So take 1942 back to your calculator. 2021 minus 1942. Boom! 79 years old. This man is trying to cleverly shave off 
10 years of his age and he's positioning himself to become the president of Nigeria. Integrity. This is what he's trying to tell us. 10 years of his age and you, we are still going to be ignorant enough to believe, oh, Jagaban is the great guy. This and that. Someone that is going to blatantly lie about his age for the whole country. Hey, Nigeria, you do your hand, though. See your hand <laughs> to know what to believe or not. Like they say, the internet doesn't lie. The internet doesn't forget. So. Now, to buttress what he said, to buttress what this guy said, on the day of his said, that said bad day, I, I, I monitored it myself. I monitored his Wikipedia page myself. I monitored his Wikipedia page myself. And guess what? His birthday was adjusted 81 times. Let me say it again. S slowly. 81 times was... His, his birthday, his Wikipedia page was edited 81 times. And they were adjusting his age. They, were keep, they keep on adjusting his age. So that means whoever has the handle of his Wikipedia page was continuously adjusting Stenobu's age. I don't know for what purpose. So they were, they were adjusting his age. 